Hey guys, Steve Welch here, Beaver Toyota again. Um, I've had a few people ask this too, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and answer this here. It's about your Android Auto, all right? So Android Auto on the Tundra, and, and this is gonna be very similar on uh, your Highlander that's uh, that's fresh out as well. Um, it's very, very nice to use, but sometimes it can shut off. So, um, you know, and, and you might wanna use Bluetooth, you might wanna do, you know, a few things. So the question is, how do you function with that, all right? So I'm gonna kinda, give you guys a look here i'm going to hit setup here right so this is an easy way to get in to find out how to turn on your android auto right so once you get in there so as long as you have your phone connected right so it shows that i'm connected here you can hit this all right once you hit this you're going to see these options right here what's the difference all right so if you're in android auto you're in wireless android auto that's going to run off of the wi-fi on your phone it will turn on the wi-fi on your phone so if you look down, you go, why is my Wi-Fi always getting turned on on my phone? It's because it uses that. If you don't want to use Android Auto, you can shut that off. What you're going to notice is that it just switched to Bluetooth here, and it says use for phone, use media. So what I can hear is I'll use for phone or I'll use for media, and then what it'll allow me to do is that I can play things off of my phone and stuff like that. Now... What's the difference between Android Auto and Bluetooth? Well, obviously Android Auto gives you a lot of things that you can do with the Android Auto. And once you turn it on, you'll see that that pops up right there. Um, so the Bluetooth is just probably what you're used to. Android Auto, you might not have seen it. Um, it goes into the wireless Android Auto. It is a really cool system. Um, when you get into all of the uh, Android Auto, the maps are amazing. Um, it's actually, how's the map amazing? It's because it's a picture. <laughs> I mean, you, you could see all kinds of stuff. Um, it gives you options that are right there. I'll pop back into my maps here. Um, but you can go into ways and you can do all, all other kinds of things that you might want to do um, with it. But you can see. So I can, you know, there's just it's the pictures crystal clear so it is a really sweet sweet thing to uh to be able to work with here but um but that's part of your android auto um plus i'll kind of just while we're in here i'll show you this so you can hit in here in apps that are android auto capable you can always look at those so if you have them well like the weather here is pretty good so because <laughs> it's been raining so you can hit that and it will load into here and it's i'm good. offline so i can't do that so there in it the goes meantime, you can get so, directions make calls and play music so it'll tell me what i can do so it's probably because i'm using my phone to record here um so that's why it's not allowing that to do that but uh you know you can like i said you can pop back into maps if you hit that toyota right there um then it would pop back over to the toyota side so the difference in the maps for toyota you pop over here this is the toyota map so you can see there's the and i just accidentally set an active route there but but there's the toyota side uh on the map so you can see the difference it'll show traffic and stuff like that you can pop back into android and just switch back over there so it's really really cool and then there's your your directions that'll show you there and then your turns will also show up on your main screen over here um, and your dash might look a little bit different than this depending on which one you have so I'm not really trying to point out that part of it but you'll usually get your turn by turns on your uh, on your center uh, instrument cluster as well so whether you have the the small screen or whether you have the 12 3 like this one is you'll get information there um, but it'll also show you so this is going to a shopping center which you know was the last shopping center that I navigated to I guess um, but it shows 22 minutes 19 miles and I would arrive there if I went there and you can adjust the route and everything just like you're used to um, but that is all about turning on turning off Android Auto uh, a little bit extra there on the end like I like to give you give you that little bit of a bonus because you uh, you watch this long but that's all about that so uh, if you have any questions definitely ask them I usually respond pretty quick so um, but Steve Welch with Beeman Toyota in Nashville definitely like subscribe uh, always reach out to me if you'd like to if you uh, you know if you have any questions as well so you put them in the comments or you can reach out to me at my Yahoo email which is buy a Toyota Nashville at yahoo.com buy a Toyota Nashville at yahoo.com appreciate you guys like subscribe have a great day talk to you soon bye